Hey everybody, I've got a video here for you today, and this is by request, and I really appreciate the questions and comments on this site because it got me to look at it again. And when you're talking about burying ancient sites, this one definitely qualifies. Some say this is the oldest observatory in the world, and we are flying into Karahunj in Armenia, and this is also known as Zarat's Karer. But here you see a hilltop with stone circles on Google Earth here. And that's what it looks like from overhead. And you notice here, this is the only hilltop in this area that seems dotted with circles. And maybe you could kind of compare it to Gobekli Tepe. This is not too far away from Gobe Gobekli Tepe. It's in the same part of the world. But you can see here, no other hilltop. Looks like it's totally covered with stone circles right under the ground. But here, you can see that. Some say 3,000 years old, some say 7,500 years old, and some say even older. We're going to get to that a little later in the video here. But I think the only proper way to look at this place is, first of all, we'll just give you a 3D view so you can see how this place is built up on the promenade here, kind of a point, but clear observational paths to the heavens. And I think we should go down and take a look here but now here down on google earth i think this is just great because this gives you a clear look at the whole region and even the central cyst in the middle these stones appear very very ancient and these stones are a lot like circles in the uk but i think uh this place really needs a lot more study but you can see how clearly observing sunrises and moonrises and uh, the heavens would have been, this would have been absolutely ideal. These stones come up about three meters out of the ground, but you got to wonder how much is buried underneath due to sedimentation here. Some say 3,500 years old, some say 7,500 years old. Some people call this the oldest observatory in the world, but this just hints to me of being very very ancient and you can see the ruins going on for a long ways here and there are many other stone circles in this area but this is the most famous one and let's this is what it looks like looking directly north that is directly north and if we go over here looking directly east and if you're in the middle of this stone central stone cyst the sunrise on the spring equinox would have came up right over these two stones here. That's the way it appears to me, and that seems to be an obvious alignment of this place. But I think the sun peaked right over the mountains here on the summer or the spring equinox sunrise. But that is a look from this main stone circle. I'm looking down here at these stones here how old do these look covered with this growth i imagine this place in the summer in the winter i mean would have been pretty inhospitable but no small culture or no hunter gatherers built this they wouldn't have had time in this climate this was for a singular purpose and that was mapping the heavens that's what it appears to me now let's go down to this nearby circle, and this is a smaller circle, but located very close to that central circle. And here you see there are holes drilled in these stones, and you can only think they were for observational purposes. And some of these are only 5 centimeters across, and some are as large as 20 centimeters. And there are even a few stones where the holes go in and then up out of the stones which is really weird but here is a look at the stone circle with the holes drilled in it and you just got to wonder how much is beneath the ground here of these stones and if they were doing observations you'd think that these were a lot taller before sedimentation and that would have allowed them to do easier observations if these are only about three meters tall sticking out of the ground right now but that is very cool. And 
Why don't we play a clip from Graham Hancock very briefly talking about this particular stone circle in Karahunj? For, for what these megaliths are all about. And that's, and that's one of the things I've been doing for the last year is traveling around the world looking... I feel so lucky to have the opportunity to do this. I would looking imagine. Looking at just amazing, uh, amazing archaeological sites. God. Um, and one of the countries that I, that I visited, and I want to, to really mention this, is Armenia, um, where I have seen incredible stone circles, just wonderful, make, uh, make us just stand in awe and look at the way that these huge megalithic stones in the, what is called the Karahun stone circle they have certain holes drilled in them to line up with particular areas of the sky Whoa. and an Armenian uh, archaeoastronomer uh, from that kind of data believes that the place called Karahun is not just two or three thousand years old as most historians believe but well over twelve thousand years old well, why does he believe that? because of the astronomical alignments but so that is one theory and there are many theories on how old the site is, but here you get another look on Google Street View of ancient Karahunj, and I guess there are about 222 stones total, and these weigh about 10 tons apiece. And these ruins really go all across the countryside here, and I'm going to show you just briefly on Google Earth, but that is a great look at ancient Karahunj, and I guess some of these are aligned to stars. A study has shown uh, Deneb in the constellation of Cygnus, just like at Gobekli Tepe. I guess there is alignments to that star, and I am just not familiar with that work. But let's just exit here. Now here is that hilltop that the stone circles at Karahunj are located on, and I invite you to look around this area. There are stone ruins and stone circles all around this area, and I guess there is a pretty impressive stone circle five kilometers to the south of this, but this is ancient Armenia, a very ancient place that uh, has a lot of ruins in it and a deep history that covers many thousands of years. How old is this place? Is it 3,500 years old? I think it's much, much, much older than that. Does it go back 12,000 years? Well, that's pretty high speculation, but this place appears very ancient. Would hunter-gatherers built this? Well, this would have taken a lot of people, a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of knowledge. I think hunter-gatherers would have been too busy hunting and gathering for this. But thanks again for the messages in the comments. That is ancient Karahunj, located in present-day Armenia. But we have a lot of very old ruins coming from this part of the world. Located fairly near very ancient Gobekli Tepe. Seems to be a very, very ancient observatory of some kind. Hope you thought that was interesting, and you all have a very nice day.